Jehoiakim, originally named Eliakim, was a son of King Josiah and Zabida. He ascended to the throne of Judah under complex political circumstances and reigned from 628 to 618 BCE. His tenure was marked by significant political upheaval, moral decline, and prophetic confrontations. Ascension to the throne. Following King Josiah's death, the people of Judah appointed Jehoiakim's younger brother, Jehoahaz, as king. However, after a brief three month reign, Pharaoh Necho of Egypt deposed Jehoahaz, exiling him to Egypt. Pharaoh Necho then installed Eliakim as king, renaming him Jehoiakim, and imposed a substantial tribute on Judah. To meet this financial burden, Jehoiakim levied heavy taxes on the populace. J.W. Org. Reign and Policies Jehoiakim's eleven year reign was characterized by injustice, oppression, and bloodshed. He initiated the construction of a luxurious palace, featuring spacious rooms, large windows, and cedar paneling. To fund this project, he withheld wages from laborers, exacerbating the people's suffering. The prophet Jeremiah condemned these actions, foretelling that Jehoiakim would receive the ignoble burial of a donkey, his body left exposed beyond Jerusalem's gates. Prophetic Confrontations Early in his reign, Jehoiakim faced warnings from prophets like Jeremiah, who urged repentance to avert Jerusalem's destruction. Instead of heeding these messages, Jehoiakim sought to silence them. He pursued the prophet Uriah, who fled to Egypt, but Jehoiakim had him extradited and executed. Jeremiah, too, faced threats, but was protected by Ahakam, a prominent supporter. In the fourth year of Jehoiakim's reign, Jeremiah dictated prophecies to his secretary, Baruch, who recorded them on a scroll. When this scroll was read to Jehoiakim, he brazenly cut it apart and burned it, dismissing the entreaties of his officials to spare it. This act underscored his contempt for divine warnings and his defiance against impending judgment. Political Turmoil and Demise Internationally, Jehoiakim's reign was tumultuous. Initially, he was a vassal to Egypt. However, after Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar's victory over Pharaoh Necho at Carchemish, Jehoiakim became a vassal to Babylon for three years. He later rebelled, prompting Nebuchadnezzar to besiege Jerusalem. During this siege, Jehoiakim died under uncertain circumstances. Jeremiah's prophecy indicated he would not receive a proper burial, his body left exposed to the elements. His son, Jehoiakim, succeeded him but reigned for only three months and ten days before surrendering to Nebuchadnezzar. This sequence fulfilled Jeremiah's prophecy that Jehoiakim would have no descendant ruling on David's throne. Legacy Jehoiakim's reign is remembered for its defiance against prophetic counsel and oppressive governance. His actions contributed to Judah's moral and political decline, leading to Babylonian conquest and exile. His life serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of ignoring divine guidance and pursuing unjust policies. Please share and like and please subscribe.